serve as the officiant today. I want to say that getting married is when you are set ready to say, I'm here to share my life with you. Today on your wedding day, more than any other, it's a time to remind both of you how important it is to keep your hearts open and to remember to give, but also remember to receive love. Both of you have chosen to celebrate surrounded by the water, nestled and held in its arms. But like the ocean, your journey to being whole will take you ebbs and flows. There will be stuck, there will be stops and steps along the way. I know that you enter this marriage with your hearts open and with the wisdom that marriage is not just in a moment. It's not a legal document. By making this commitment, you're saying, I'm willing to risk out at risk again. I'm willing to reach out to someone without conditions. I am ready to give myself completely. So today I say, let go. Join your hearts in one. Today you are becoming a family. And with this family, you will share life's journey. And as husband and wife, you will be the foundation of that journey. <laughs> love is first and foremost friendship. Most of us don't think of love that way, but it is really in the foundation of friendship that we find out what real love is. I want to remind both of you of some things that will that you will carry along this journey. So as we start the ceremony, I want you to remember to be gentle with each other and love in a kind way. Remember when to lead, but also remember when to follow. And when you find those starts and stops, I want to, you to ask yourself just one question. Is it more important to be right or more important to be loving? I want you to remember and make the important things matter, but let the rest go. Because again, as you stand here at the ocean's edge, that it will not be the ceremony, it won't be a legal document that will make this marriage real. It will be only the two of you, from the heart, day by day, for the rest of your lives. As I read this journey of life, I also want all of you to think where you are. Some of you are at the beginning of your journey, some at the end of your journey, and some of you in the middle. But right now we're here to begin their journey, and you're here not just to support them tonight, but you're here to support them all the way along, with love, with advice, with support. Each one of us has a, a obligation and a love for both of you. And I'd like the two of you, if you would take your hands, and I want you to look at each other, and I want to remind you where you are tonight and where you're beginning. But I also want you to remember where you want to end, because these are the hands of your best friend, full of love and holding you on your wedding night. They are promising to love you each day, today, tomorrow, and forever. And these are the hands that are going to work alongside you. And these are the hands that are going to passionately love and cherish you through the years. And these are the hands with the slightest touch will comfort you when no one else can. And these are the hands that are going to hold you when fear and grief fill your mind. And these are the hands that will help to build your family as one. And these are the hands that are going to give you strength when you need it. But lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours and still be giving you that unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do our vows, and I will do my first, and then I'm going to ask you to do your personal commitment to each other. I take you as my best friend, lover, and wife. I take you as my best friend, lover, and wife. I ask that you be no other than yourself. I, be, I ask that you be no other than yourself. And I ask that you join in the journey of life with me. I ask you that you join in the journey of life. And I marry you freely and without conditions. I marry you freely and without conditions. I take you as my best friend, lover, and husband. I take you as my best friend, 
lover and husband. I ask that you be no other than yourself. I ask you to be no other than yourself. And I gladly join in the journey of love with you. And I gladly join in the journey of life with you. I marry you freely and without conditions. I marry you freely and without conditions. And I know that you have personal vows that you would want to do, so if you would take this moment to give that commitment to each other. Today is a very special day. Long ago you were just a dream and a prayer. This is only, I'm sorry, this is a day I dream, a dream come true. The Lord ha himself has answered that prayer. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you, encourage you, and trust you, and respect you. As a family, we will create a, ha a home filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. Today, I choose you to be my wife. I accept you as you are and offer you myself in, re in return. I will care for you and stand beside you and share with you all the li that life adversities and its joys from the day from this day forward and this day of life. Eight years ago, God answered my prayers with a little help from me, Harmony. <laughs> and today I'm reminded why I fell in love with you. I'm captivated by your smart, honest, humble, and respectful nature. And even though being affectionate is not your strong suit, <laughs> You always, always find a way to make me feel loved. Thank you for supporting Daniel and I with some of the most challenging, fun, and beautiful years behind us. It's proven that together we can conquer anything. And this marriage is only going to make our bond stronger. But most importantly, I want to thank God because we're truly wait, we're truly blessed in the way we complete each other. <sighs> That's why here in front of our family and closest friends, I bow to you that I will support your dreams. I bow to motivate you when you want to give up. <sighs> and I bow to express my love to you for the rest of our days and to never take our union as husband and wife for granted. Um, I love you unconditionally and for eternity. All in, no turning back. And every day, every moment, every breath you take. I choose you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I will be faithful and honest with you. I will be faithful and honest with you. I will respect, love, and care for you. I will respect, love, and care for you. And I will share my life with you. And I will share my life with you. Yes, gorgeous. And then you repeat after me as you put the ring on his finger. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I will be faithful and honest with you. I will be faithful and honest with you. I will respect, love, and care for you. I will respect, love, and care for you. <laughs> love and care for you. And I will share my life with you. And I will share my life with you. Need to make sure that it's in. It's in. <laughs> Both of you have expressed your love and your commitment through the wedding vows. And as you begin this journey, I'd like to close with an old Irish blessing. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortunes, but always rich in the blessing of family, friends, and the Lord. May the wind always blow at your back. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. But most of all, may God keep you in his hands. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I'm now proud and happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>
beautiful life together. And that you guys last for eternity. And that I'm there to see you. And um, we love you. And I know what else to say. I'd like to congratulate you too. Thank you. I met you guys about five years ago. Probably the newest guy in this family over here. But I have to say that maybe not the first moment, but the third or fourth moment, I, I felt welcome in this family. And everybody here can attest that this truly is a family. We're all here because you guys bring a lot to the table. Your love, your happiness, the bond that you two have is very evident. So I would like to raise a glass and toast to the two of you. Congratulations. You uh, might not be my brother by family, but uh, I definitely feel very blessed to call him my brother. And uh, I guess I'm getting a sister too. So congratulations and uh, enjoy the rest of your lives. Thank you. I've had the honor of knowing a long, long time. Uh, the mention of his brother and his family. Uh, I met him at 16 years old. We worked for me. And uh, I've had the great pleasure of, of uh, growing up with him and taking him from uh, a little brother to a good, good friend, business uh, acquaintance, uh, everything you can imagine, friendship, business. And uh, he's one of these guys that, well, one of these guys that you, whatever you need, whatever you ask, uh, he will be there for you. When he met Yolette, we knew he was complete, but I think it was pretty obvious to everybody. And uh, I know my wife and I were chirping away in his ear, trying to get him to move, but I think he knew it too a long time ago, and it was just a question of time. Uh, I wish you guys the, the best, a long life together, great friendship. That's, that's what you guys are, are is, is key in your relationship. You're, you're good people, you're, you're good friends, and you'll be wonderful together. And I'm glad that you're part of my life. Thank you. I just wanna feel this moment. Ooh, I just wanna feel this moment. Ooh, I just wanna feel this moment. From the tallest building in Tokyo Long way from them hallways It was O's and O's They counted always Real fat all day Now baby we can party Oh baby we can party She read books Especially about red rooms and tie-ups I got her hooked Cause she see me in a suit with a red tie tied up Big hey, it's nice to meet you But time is money Only difference is I own it Now let's stop time and enjoy this moment One day, one day.